Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, Drago, and uh, welcome to uh, my Demon Souls Platinum Trophy Guide. Uh, this is either going to be our last episode or uh, second to last episode, depending on how long it's going to take us to pure Bladestone. That's right. This uh, episode is going to start out with. Uh, basic upgrade paths for the weapon since we already have the weapon by sharpstone hardstone and clearstone and uh, as well as a blessed weapon which we're wielding right now uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, upgrade weapons to all the other upgrade paths that we can upgrade them to at this moment and then i'm gonna show you guys the most efficient way to farm for uh, moonlight stone dark moon stone and the dreaded pure blade stone so without any further ado, let's go ahead and talk to Blacksmith Ed. Upgrade weapon. So as you guys can tell, uh, I have upgraded some weapons a little bit just to save some time. Uh, we've already have all the Mercury Stones, so I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this weapon to uh, the Mercury Path. This is the rapier that we found in the Tower of Latria. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade it to Mercury plus 5. Bam. Alright. Next, we got all the Marrow Stone as well in the Valley of Defilement. So, and as you can see up top here, I got the Poison Master's Trophy. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this Astok to plus 5 as well. And if you guys remember, we picked up Dark Heater Shield in the Stonefang Tunnel in uh, Area 2-2. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade that to plus 5. That should give us the Cloudstone Trophy. Crushing Battle Axe is found in the early area of uh, Stonefang Tunnel. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade that to plus 5 as well to get the Crushing Weapon Trophy. Uh, Kilish, uh, I'm going to upgrade it to uh, Tearing Path uh, via Sucker Stone. Sucker Stone is found in uh, a Valley of Defilement as well. So that goes up to plus five. And I'm going to upgrade the great source via Dragon Path. You find all the Dragon Stone in the Stonefang Tunnel as well. All right, so the last remaining three weapons are. Moon weapons, crescent weapons, and sharp weapons. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to farm for those next. For now, I'm gonna go ahead, teleport to the Nexus, and drop off all the weapons that we finished upgrading. And as you guys can tell, uh, the Nexus area is open. But we don't want to go in there quite yet. We want to finish farming and upgrading all the weapons that we need. I'm going to go ahead and deposit the uh, Dragon Greatsword, the Tearing Kalish, uh, Mercury Rapier, Fatal Esta, Crush and Battle Axe, uh, Sticky. Oh, I forgot to upgrade a uh, weapon via Sticky Path. So I'm going to go ahead and finish doing that. I'm going to deposit the Dark Heater Shield. And the rest of the weapons I'm going to hang around, keep around for now. I'm uh, going to run back to the Stonefang Tunnel really quick and get the Sticky Weapon Trophy. Uh, the Sticky Weapons are uh, upgraded via Spider Stone, which you should have also found in the Stonefang Tunnel. Uh, you can find all the Spider Stone there, and you can upgrade a bow uh, via a Sticky Path. So I'm going to go ahead and do that quick. I'm going to keep the bow around just as my ranged weapon. <laughs> yeah, 
And this should give us the Spider Stone Trophy as well. And now I can, uh, yep, Master Bowman's Trophy. Alright, we got that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and teleport to the Nexus, and we're gonna go ahead and head to the Tower of Latria to farm for the Pure Moonlight Stone. Alright, now just to let you guys know, I have uh, turned my Tower of Latria and Shrine of Storms area to Pure Black World Tendency, because this is where we will be farming for Moonlight Stone. Darkmoon Stone and Blade Stone. And the uh, best way to get good drops on those level is to have your tendency, world tendency for that level, to set to pure black. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go to the Maneater Arch Stone. Okay, now before we proceed, notice that I have Thief String on. Uh, thief String is pretty much essential because it prevents you from being spotted by uh, Crystal Lizards before you're ready to engage them. So now you would proceed as you normally would. I'm going to go ahead and cast Second Chance uh, just in case. Uh, and now proceed as you normally would proceed to the Old Monk boss fight. Go ahead and take out all the enemies in your path. There are a couple of annoying mind, Black Phantom Mind Flayers that you want to watch out for. One of them will be right up ahead. Go ahead and take them out. They, they can be pretty tough, so don't take them lightly. Uh, now there will be a couple more of those uh, disgusting bug scorpion-like creatures. Don't know what the hell they're called. And another mind flare. You want to draw this guy out or just snipe him with arrows from a distance. Uh, because you don't want to get too close to him and spook the crystal lizard that is uh, located pretty much right behind him. So I'm just going to go ahead and pack bird him of arrows. And now that he's down, go ahead and make your way up. And you see this uh, crystal lizard here? That's the one that will drop the pure moonlight stone. Now, one, once you see what it dropped, and it's not a pure moonlight stone, uh, not what we need right now, don't, X, don't press X right here when you see... Uh, when you see the item that it dropped, go ahead and uh, click PlayStation button and then go ahead and click Quick Game. What this does is it prevents the game from autosaving. So once you boot the game back up, the Crystal Lizard will still be alive and you'll be able to farm it without uh, fearing that the Crystal Lizard is gone, because there's only a set number of Crystal Lizards you can farm. I believe there's only four of them at this particular part, and uh, there are, I believe, there's only two Crystal Lizards total, two Crystal Lizard locations total where you can receive the Pure Moonlight Stone. So just go ahead and do this trick. Um, once you put the game back up, you'll be able to kill that Crystal Lizard again. So we'll go ahead and do that next. And see if it will drop the Pure Moonlight Stone. It's definitely a little bit of a lengthy way to do it, but it's better than having to go into the new game. And having to do that in New Game Plus, or New Game Plus Plus so on and so forth. Of course you could always just uh, 
asks one of your friends to drop it for you or just ask a total stranger to drop it for you or you can ask somebody in message boards to drop it for you it doesn't matter you know either way in my opinion is a legit way uh, just because you're farming those free stones it really is a matter of luck and there's really no so to speak skill involved to that even though I hate using that word when it comes to video games uh, and there's only luck really so I'm gonna go ahead and load the game back up uh, what you'll notice is that all the enemies you've killed have died which is handy because you probably don't waste uh, your time killing those mind flares and bugs all over again so uh, I'd certainly recommend this method, this is the preferable method of farming for Moonlight Stone and Dark, Dark Moon Stone later. So we'll go ahead and Okay, and we're back to the Tower of Latria. Uh, go ahead and make your way upstairs. Sometimes the game saves, sometimes it doesn't. Oh yeah, and I forgot to cast Second Chance, it seems like, so make sure you also do that. Okay, I'm just going to snipe this guy again. And I'm going to just open the menu so it saves so I don't have to go for these guys again. And... Uh, go ahead and kill this guy. And we got the pure moonlight stone. Hell yeah. Now just go ahead, uh, teleport out of the out of the Tower of Latria. We're gonna go ahead and uh, dupe the pure moonlight stone, and then we're gonna go ahead and farm for uh, pure dark moon stone. All right. Not too shabby. Only took four tries. That's not bad. That's not bad. Four is better than five. And for some reason, I decided it would be a good idea to kill myself. Hell yeah. You died. Alright. Go ahead and dupe the pure moonlight stone. And then you can just go ahead and get rid of the chunks and pures because you don't need them anymore. I bet all those people are really jealous right now who can't uh, farm for pure moonlight stone to save their life.
Alright, now we're gonna go ahead and go into uh, Shrine of Storms next. I'm gonna turn it to pure black first. So I'm gonna suicide a few times. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that part out once again. Okay, guys, now we're at the world. Uh, four three, I teleported to the Storm King Archstone. Uh, Want to make sure first thing is that you have a uh, thief string on. And now we're gonna go ahead and drop down here. As you know, there are two uh, crystal lizards in this part. So you want to go ahead and go after one of them, kill it, and when you when you pick up the stone, if it's not the pure dark moon stone, you want to go ahead and dashboard out of the game. Make sure you don't press X to confirm the item that you received, otherwise. Uh, you will lose that uh, spawn for crystal lizard. You'll have to hope that uh, you'll uh, you'll get the stone in one of the remaining two spawns. So you want to keep keep uh, dashboarding at the screen where it tells you what uh, what dark moon stone it is. So now we're gonna go ahead and load the game back up and repeat the process until we get the pure dark moon stone. Okay, as you guys can tell, we loaded the game back up, and we're back to the... It dropped us off at the old hero, Archstone, which is okay. You still gotta make your way down to the spot where the two crystal lizards are, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. I usually pick the crystal lizard on the right, because it usually doesn't run off the cliff. Uh, the one on the left tends to run off the cliff quite fast, so... I'm just going to go ahead and stick to the one that's on the right. That's the easiest one to catch up to. And we got the pure Dark Moon Stone. Go ahead and teleport to the Nexus. And uh, dupe it. And then we're going to go ahead straight to Blacksmith Ed. And we're going to make a Dark Moon Stone and Moonlight Stone weapon. soul the Sahara huh? 
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and dupe that really quick. And as I said before, we're gonna go straight to uh, blacksmith Ed and make those weapons just so we get those two trophies out of the way. And after that, we're gonna go ahead and uh, try farming for some bladestone. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and upgrade that uh, Moon Knight Sword to uh, plus 5. And we'll also upgrade the Crescent Falcon to plus 5. We got the Moonlight's Trophy, and we'll get the Dark Moon's Trophy here shortly as well. And just go ahead and teleport back to the Nexus and we're gonna go ahead and stash those two weapons and uh, next we'll farm for some pure blade stone. Okay, now as you guys know, uh, pure black coral tendency will give us a, the best shot, so I'm just going to go ahead and suicide a bunch of times in Shrine of Storms. Uh, I'm going to cut that part out just because I'm sure you guys don't want to watch me jump off the cliff for like another few minutes. So uh, I'll go ahead and uh, continue the commentary when we are ready. Okay guys, and as you can see, we are back at the uh, Shrine of Storms. We are at the old hero Archstone this time. And uh, what you want to have is a weapon that does a shit ton of damage. And you want to have a Thief's Ring. Second Chance and uh, all that other stuff, the armor, the shield are completely optional. Just remember, uh, Thief's Ring and weapon that deals a crap ton of damage. So now... What you're going to do is you want to backtrack and you want to go all the way to where uh, where pretty much the Grim Reaper is. The, that last Grim Reaper that you encounter. So you want to run through all that area with the slugs. Uh, you want to run up the steps here and kill that Grim Reaper that I was talking about. So he'll be, he'll be right at the top of the staircase. Don't even bother with anything else, just go ahead and kick his ass as fast as you can. Don't even bother about any of those raves. Now what you want to do is you want to farm the phantom black skeleton that appears in a black, pure black world tendency in the Shrine of Storms. He is located right at the end of this passage. And what you want to do is you want to slowly walk up towards him. With your biggest sword, your biggest axe, whatever you have, and you gotta have feast ring on so he doesn't turn around and spy you. And you wanna backstab him, and then what you wanna do is unlock and just run all the way towards the end of this hallway, right? 
now that you're at the end of this hallway, just turn around and make your way back to that skeleton. As you can see, he, is, he assumed his original position. So just walk up to him and backstab his ass one more time. And keep doing that pretty much until he dies. Backstab, turn around, run for your life. Then creep up towards him, stab him right in the ass, and walk all the way back. Until he dies, make sure you don't backstab him and uh, knock him off the bridge. It's entirely possible. You want to be uh, somewhat careful, I guess. So just go ahead, walk up to him slowly once he's walking or doing whatever, just minding his business, and backstab him and then run away like a little cowardly bitch. Because you can also you can also just fight him, uh, but there's a risk in that in that he can kill you one and two he can simply fall off the cliff and you will not get the drop. So the safest way to do this is to just backstab him every time. And see, I picked up some. We cast soul remains, but uh, this is your best uh, best chance at getting the uh, bladestone and chunks of bladestone as well too. You can get chunks of bladestone from this guy. So you want to just go ahead and keep repeating the process. Once you kill him, just uh, evacuate back to the nexus and then go back in and uh, repeat the process one more time. So. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut this part out as I'm farming for it and hopefully I'll be able to show you guys uh, the conclusion where I get the pure bladestone. So without any further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and teleport back to the old hero Archstone and repeat the process.
Okay, and as you guys can see, uh, I've just received the Pure Bladestone. Uh, it took me about, uh, well, I want to say 10, 11 tries. That's not bad at all. I know some people say it's taken them like hours and hours and hours, but this is by far the fastest method to get it. I'm going to go ahead and teleport to the Nexus right now, and we're going to go ahead and dupe it. Just so we have some spares. And now we'll go ahead and make a sharp weapon plus five at the Stonefang Tunnel with Blacksmith Ed. Okay, and now let's talk to Blacksmith Ed real quick. Make the Sharp Uchi plus 5. Great weapon for a dex build, by the way. And we got it. We got the Bladestone Weapon Trophy. We'll go ahead and teleport to the Nexus. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. And the next video will be the last one. Thank you guys for watching, uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and uh, let me know if there is anything you'd like me to do next. After this I'm planning on posting some uh, PvP video for Dark Souls, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time in our last video for this uh, playlist.